If you live in the Tucson, Arizona area or anywhere around Tucson, listen up. This is what is going to be happening. Come April 1st, your city will no longer be able to house and take care of all of these illegal migrants that are entering into Arizona and coming to Tucson. April 1st, they're out of money. So far, the federal government has been funding Tucson $1 million a week to take care of these illegal migrants. They're housing them, feeding them, giving them clothes, giving them medical care, airplane tickets, you name it, they're getting it. But the money is gone. And the government leaders of Tucson, Arizona say, we don't want to rely upon the citizens, taxpayer money to pay for these migrants. So we will be releasing them out into the streets of Tucson. Once the, the people enter, once the migrants cross over to, into America, they will be loaded up on the Border Patrol buses. They will be processed and then they will be sent into Tucson, Arizona. One government leader, she said, well, they're going to hang out in Tucson until they figure out where their final destination is. Like they're literally on a trip. Where their final destination is as to where they want to fly to in America. It is very frightening. President Biden, he has been in Arizona the past couple of days and he's been bagging the Latino voters. He says, I need your vote. Latino voters helped me win in 2020. So he's in desperate need of these Arizona Latino voters to vote for him. He says that Trump despises Latinos and he says that Trump said that these open borders is poisoning America which it is. I totally agree with that. This is not sustainable. We cannot take all these people in. We don't know who's coming in. Dangerous criminals are coming in and we cannot take care of these people. We need to secure our borders. This is a travesty, a crime to the American people. And if you live in Tucson, be prepared. It's coming your way. I know it's already there, but it's going to be worse.